gift that I think you'll never be good enough for. A high school football coach definitely has something to be thankful for tonight. That's right. A heart transplant has now given him a second chance at life. RTV6's Liz adiola has got that story. Doctors say David Priestley has a long road of recovery ahead of him. In fact, his visitors have to wear these masks to reduce the risk of infection. But they tell us that he should be home in time for Christmas. It's frustrating because they're the people you need. But they're also the ones you can't really be around. Can't an unfamiliar word for LaGrange High School football coach David Priestley. Priestley pushes his athletes to accomplish what seems impossible. But last year, his will to coach on the football field was blocked by his health. It was the curse and the, the blessing. I was 38 years old when I first started getting sick. Priestley says doctors thought it was his gallbladder, and then they noticed a blood clot. I was young enough that I could recuperate quickly but also that I was young enough that it took a while to find out what was wrong with me. The clot was a red flag that David's heart wasn't working correctly. Almost two years after he started getting sick, he got a call his wife says changed his life forever. Just a new life, a new beginning. It was time for a heart transplant. I've watched my parents bury two children. Now he says the organ donor and the family who helped save his life prevented his parents from having to bury a third child. I couldn't tell you what I would even say to these people. It's really a gift that I think you'll never be good enough for. Reporting from Indiana University Health Methodist Hospital, Liz Adiola, RTV6. Very happy Thanksgiving to him and his family there. Now members of Priestley's freshman football team, the LaGrange Lakers, are planning to visit their coach on Friday.